Good evening, everyone. On behalf of College of the Rockies and Amscrim Media, I would like to welcome you all to the MSM and COTR Agent E Summit live series for 2020. I'm Karishma Chaudhary, Manager Canada at Amscrim Media. The College of the Rockies offer a learning environment that matches its spectacular campus at the Courtney Rocky Mountains, British Columbia, Canada. College of the Rockies constantly seeks to enhance the quality of learning experience through international opportunities for its students and graduates. COTR together with MSM are happy to have you all here for an hour of ultimate knowledge oriented session to help you boost your student recruitment practices. COTR works closely with carefully selected and approved group of agent partners to achieve its goal of internationalization. Well, before we go uh, get to the exciting part, I would like to let you know if you are having any questions related to COTR, please do not hesitate to drop it in Q&A section in your control panel. And if you are having any question related to technical issues, then you can drop it in the chat box. I know everyone is curious and interested to learn more about COTR, its program, its state of art facilities on campus, and of course, its welcoming local community. So without any further ado, I would like to introduce Mr. Lucas, uh, who is International Recruitment Officer at College of the Rockies. Lucas, over to you. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Lucas Trenicki. I'm the International Student Recruitment Officer here at College of the Rockies. Um, I'm going to be your main contact point for uh, anything related to admissions, uh, recruitment related questions and that kind of thing. Um, I'm really excited to be giving my very first presentation here to you all and uh, I hope that uh, it goes smoothly. Um, I'm going to be starting off my presentation. Uh, hope, hopefully we'll be able to finish um, a little bit ahead of schedule so that uh, everyone uh, we'll have time to do a Q&A uh, session, and hopefully I can answer any questions that you have about College of the Rockies, and uh, hopefully we can work with you to get students uh, to study here. So uh, first of all, I'd like to start with uh, a little bit of a brief introduction about uh, College of the Rockies. <clears throat> So one of our, our mottos, which I think is extremely powerful um, and very, very sort of important to think about when considering College of the Rockies is our, our motto, think, do, become. Um, we're really focused on, uh, you know, having students be very successful in their studies. And uh, we really want students to really think um, and practice what they think in their studies. And then hopefully in the future, they'll become successful. Um, and that kind of thinking is really, really important for students um, when they begin their studies, they complete their studies, and then they go to find um, their job after their studies. So uh, College of the Rockies is located here in Cranbrook, BC. Um, I'm not sure if, if many of you have heard of Cranbrook, BC, but it's a, a really small uh, town here located in the Kootenai Mountains. Uh, it's marked here on this map by the star. We're located in between uh, Vancouver and Calgary. Um, we're only about uh, an hour and a half away from Vancouver by, by airplane, and we're about an hour away from Calgary by airplane. So it's, it's very accessible for students who want uh, sort of the uh, rural lifestyle and sort of all of the outdoor activities that come with that. Um, but also they can have access to the larger cities, um, you know, when, when they want to go out and do shopping and those kind of fun activities as well. Um, so what does Cranbrook offer? So I know this is, this is one of the most, uh, most often asked questions. Are there part-time job opportunities here in Cranbrook? And of course, yes. So like the, like the larger cities here in Canada, there are plenty of part-time job opportunities at, uh, at local businesses, which are very um, welcoming to international students looking for jobs. Um, and we also have the larger uh, chain stores like Walmart, um, super stores, Home Depots and the like. Um, so there are many opportunities for students to, um, to have a part-time job and while they're completing their studies. 
Um, another big point that I know that a lot of students and parents um, are very strongly opinionated about is having a safe city. Um, I'm not sure how it is uh, for students from their, from their home cities, um, but here in Cranbrook, we have almost no major crime and it's a very, very safe environment uh, for students to, to continue and complete their studies. Um, many of our students uh, have experienced during their studies situations where, uh, like for example, they'll leave their wallet on the bus and, uh, and they'll like call the bus company to get their wallet back and nothing will have been taken from their wallet. So um, I'm not sure if, if, that is the, if that is the situation in your cities, but um, definitely here in Cranbrook, uh, safety is one of the big selling points uh, for students and their families. Uh, um, like I mentioned before, it's only a nine min 90 minute flight to Vancouver, uh, an hour and a half is very, very close. Um, many of the students on their, on their way to Cranbrook will fly through Vancouver or through Calgary. Um, but right, yeah, right now there are connecting uh, flights from those larger cities. Um, another big thing for students and their families is an affordable cost of living. Um, compared to sit larger cities like Vancouver and Toronto, the, uh, the cost of living here in Cranbrook is, is quite reasonable. Um, we have rent prices for, for uh, apartments around 650 to 750 compared to Vancouver where it would be 1,500 and, and above. So um, for students who are very uh, cost conscious and are thinking about um, completing their studies in sort of uh, with an affordable cost, um, I think that College of the Rockies is a really good selling point uh, with that as well. Um, you can see here in, in the background of this slide is uh, the clock tower here in Cranbrook. So maybe that can give uh, you and your students a little bit of um, an idea of sort of what Cranbrook looks like. Um, let's go on to the next slide here. So a little bit about College of the Rockies. So College of the Rockies is an accredited public post-secondary institution. Um, so that means that students are eligible uh, for a postgraduate work permit on completion of their studies. Um, we have 35 educational programs from certificates to diplomas. Uh, we have a four year bachelor's degree in uh, Bachelor of Business Administration. And we also have um, a one, currently one postgraduate program in uh, sustainable business. It's a post degree diploma in sustainable business. So there are lots of options um, for students who are looking to complete their studies here in Canada. Um, and I'm sure we can find a program and courses that are very interesting to your students. Um, one point about the certificates and diplomas, uh, the certificate is a one year uh, credential and the diploma is a two year credential. And so for students who are thinking about, um, you know, moving and, live and staying here in Canada for the long term, I, would, I believe that a diploma would be in their best interest uh, to complete. Um, the other important things to highlight are the university arts and sciences. We've got business, hospitality, um, tourism, and also engineering for students who are very savvy at math and all of the sciences. Um, our hospitality program is located at our campus in Invermere, um, and the other programs listed there are at our a main campus here in Cranbrook. Um, we've also got partnerships with universities and colleges in British Columbia, uh, Canada and Australia, and the UK. So um, for students um, who are interested in continuing their studies uh, once they complete a credential here at College of the Rockies, um, they can use the credits uh, tran and transfer to one of the four year um, larger universities here in, in, in British Columbia specifically, um, because we are part of something called the BC Transfer Guide, which is basically a, a large network of, uh, of colleges here in British Columbia. Uh, and it assists students in smoothly transferring uh, to another institution here in, in British Columbia. All right, uh, let's go on to the next one. 
So some of the main things about College of the Rockies are, as you can see in this, uh, in this image here, we've got very beautiful Rocky Mountains just outside of our doorstep. And I know that um, for many students who are coming from larger cities, this could be a really appealing thing um, to be able to experience nature in the outdoors uh, just a couple of minutes away from, from where you are. Uh, and it's quite a beautiful view to see when you wake up in the morning. So that's another uh, sort of big plus. Um, Cranbrook, um, so as highlighted here, the save money, which I, I talked about earlier, um, the Kootenai lifestyle. So with all of this nature around us, um, students will have access to a lot of outdoor activities and maybe they can try um, different winter sports that maybe they couldn't uh, try in their home country, uh, especially like skiing and snowshoeing. Uh, those can be uh, accessed just 30 minutes away from our main campus by car. So it's quite uh, an interesting opportunity for students who have never experienced the winter and winter sports. Um, we've also got a really, um, an important thing here is the uh, smaller class sizes. So many students, um, especially uh, students that haven't had uh, a lot of support in their, um, in their studies previously um, would really uh, enjoy this aspect of College of the Rockies um, because we pride ourselves on having a very good ratio of students to teachers. Um, and so that way students can really get to know the instructors and the instructors get to know the students and there's a lot more opportunity for support there. Um, so we believe that having smaller class sizes and a good relationship between uh, the instructors and the students uh, will help them be successful in their studies here at College of the Rockies. Um, at many larger institutions in Canada, there will be around four to 500 students in one course. Um, and so there isn't really a whole lot of opportunity um, to be able to sort of uh, interact with other students and the instructors, but here at College of the Rockies, um, they would definitely have that opportunity. Um, all right, let's go on to the next slide. <clears throat> all right, so three more reasons to choose from us. So here is uh, actually an example of uh, one of the uh, one of the lecture halls here on campus. Um, we've got uh, so let me just go through some of these uh, these reasons here. So we've got a lot of extra support from the faculty uh, and staff here at College of the Rockies. Um, normally when, when we are on campus, um, the students, um, students oftentimes come into the international office and we provide them with a lot of, uh, support and we answer all of their questions. So under normal circumstances, um, we would definitely, uh, you know, have a lot of interaction with the students and we really, uh, create a good relationship between the staff and the students. Um, We've also got a state-of-the-art technology um, on campus here. In the background, uh, we've got a projector, but in many of our classrooms, we actually have smart boards. Um, we've got a lot of online uh, opportunities for students um, to sort of gain access to technologies from their home countries. Um, we have many different types of uh, access points for Wi-Fi on campus, so the speed is always quite good. Um, so I, I think that College of the Rockies has a lot to offer with, uh, with technology. Um, another big point is, of course, like I mentioned earlier, the affordable tuition fees uh, and economical cost of living. So in Cranbrook, yeah, the, the cost of living is quite reasonable compared to larger cities. Um, and also the tuition fees here at College of the Rockies are quite uh, reasonable for students. And so um, students won't have to sort of, um, they won't have to pay back a lot of money once they complete their studies, uh, which is always a great thing as well. So one of the major things uh, is College of the Rockies uh, number one rank in the world for international student satisfaction. Um, a couple of years back, we did the iGraduate International Insight uh, survey of all of our international students. 
And in these categories, as listed here in the PowerPoint, um, we've done pretty good in our ranking for international student satisfaction. Um, we've got uh, number one ranking for good teachers and quality lectures, virtual learning and online library. Um, one of the, the interesting things is that our cafeteria was also ranked uh, number one. And so for students who are interested in trying Canadian food, I think this would be quite a good opportunity for them as well. And they can, they can um, experience our cafeteria food um, on, a, on a daily basis here on campus. Um, all right, let's see the next one. So facilities, like I mentioned before, there are smart boards in every classroom um, we have an online learning platform here at College of the Rockies, which is called Moodle. And all students who are completing courses um, currently online are using Moodle to access all of their course material and to complete their lectures and that kind of thing. Um, on campus, we have a couple of large computer labs. So um, we don't currently uh, require students completing their, their programs online or on, on campus um, to have a computer. Only students who are completing online uh, are required to have computers. But on campus here, under normal circumstances, they would be able to access um, our computer labs and um, be able to complete some of their coursework in the computer labs. Um, we've also got an Olympic-sized track, a gymnasium, a fitness center, and uh, a top-ranked cafeteria. Um, so students can sort of stay healthy when they're completing their studies here as well. Um, we also have a wide range of reference resources, ebooks, and online databases uh, for students to access when they're uh, completing their course material for their different lectures. <clears throat> And as I mentioned before, uh, students will have access to free Wi-Fi throughout the campus, uh, and it's at a pretty good speed as well. So students will be able to complete their, their coursework on campus uh, pretty flawlessly. Okay. So here at College of the Rockies, um, we have a number of different popular programs um, we've got associate degrees, we've got business degrees, um, we've got hospitality, and we've got health and post-degree uh, diploma in sustainable business. So um, depending on the needs of the students, um, I believe that we have a very uh, popular set of programs for students uh, to be able to access. Um, we find that many of our business program, specifically our marketing program and our general management program, uh, and now our, our recently created financial services program um, are very popular for international students, especially students coming from India. <clears throat> um, our financial services program uh, prepares students for, um, for employment in the banking industry on completion of their studies. So um, we believe that that program will be very popular for, uh, for upcoming students. All right. Uh, next, I'd like to talk about our course fees. So um, currently, we are, are having a, uh, a $1,430 per course um, fee. But for students that take uh, five courses, uh, we have a $6,325 Canadian dollar per term uh, tuition fee. So for, for those of you who are, are quite good at math, uh, you will notice that 1,430 times five does not equal 6,325. So for students who take uh, four or five courses um, per semester, they actually get a cheaper um, per course fee. Um, so we like to, to support our students by giving them a little bit of a, a discount uh, for students who take more courses. All right. Uh, next, I'd like to go on to the uh, admissions requirements. So many of you are very, uh, are very interested to know probably about our admissions requirements. 
Um, so here we have on the screen, um, all students must provide an academic IELTS um, or equivalent test to meet our English language proficiency requirements. Um, for those students who are hoping to come through SDS, um, we need a 6.0 in all bands on the academic IELTS test. Um, in terms of other general requirements uh, for our programs, um, we require students to present a 50% in four high school courses um, in their grade 10 board exam and also in their grade 12 board exam as well. Um, but for business programs and kinesiology and our associate of science and arts, there's also a math requ uh, requirement as well. Um, in terms of the IELTS, uh, like I mentioned before, we require 6.0 overall uh, with no band less than 6.0 for all of our programs except for PDDB. Um, but for PDDB, we have a little bit of an increase um, in our IELTS requirements. We require students uh, to present uh, a 6.0 in all bands with no band less than 6.5. So, um, and the minimum cumulative G GPA requirement, uh, in addition to their high school board exams, their 10 and their 12, uh, we also require a 50% uh, cumulative GPA in the terminal degree. Um, so I think those are pretty straightforward and I can answer more questions about those two uh, sets of admissions requirements uh, more in depth, depending on uh, questions that uh, anyone has. Okay, um, so next I'd like to talk about uh, the language tests that are accepted on a temporary basis. Um, so we're currently accepting for the fall 2020, which is already passed, um, the winter 2021 and the spring 2021 admission cycles only. Uh, we're accepting the following online variants of uh, English language proficiency tests, the Duolingo, the IELTS indicator, and the TOEFL IBT special home edition. So, um, yeah, so depending on what uh, test your students present for admissions basis, uh, we can uh, look at these following tests. Um, another important thing to talk about is our international student population. Um, so 26% around uh, of our, our student population here at College of the Rockies is international students um, in the 2019 and 2020 academic years. Um, and around 219 of those students uh, are from India for the winter 2019 semester. Um, so yeah, there will be many students that, that your students uh, can interact with and uh, build a great friendship network. And I think that, uh, that many of our, our current students from India would be happy to, uh, to support any new Indian students as well. Um, when they're beginning their studies, because I'm sure they have many questions as well. Okay, uh, let's go on to the next slide. All right, so this is a, a short video that I would like everyone to be able to watch. Um, this is about um, highlighting our student life uh, for Indian students here in Cranbrook. These are our actual students, and this was uh, done by a Canadian um, and I believe it was a, um, a TV broadcasting company here in, in Canada. Um, but yeah, I would like uh, everyone to be able to see this and, uh, and, we'll, and we'll be able to continue my uh, presentation after the video. So I hope you enjoy. up there but they never strike anything. I always think that they're hitting each other intentionally. <laughs> they just keep on pushing each other. Is that a goal? No, it was not a goal.
studying abroad is a great way to see the world and experience a different way of life. And for these students from northern India, what better place to experience Canada than in the small mountain town of Invermere, British Columbia. Where I'm from, there is no mountain at all, so I haven't seen any mountain in my life. I only saw mountain in TV. The first glimpse, just coming down the, the hill we have, it was like so good that the lake and the whole town was so adorable. Ekam Noor Singh, Himat Jatana and Mohit Sharma first arrived in the Columbia Valley during the fall of 2018, just in time for winter. When I uh, searched about the town and I have seen like it gets pretty cold in winter and my teachers were saying uh, it, you're gonna see snow, you're gonna see snow in just a few days. And we were thinking like they are lying to us because there were no snow. We woke up in the morning, I just opened the window curtains and I saw that it's, it's snowing out here, it was all white. We just ran, literally ran out of the main door in our shots uh, to just to see the snow and feel the snow, what, what actually snow feels like. I didn't have a car and so I, I walked through on the snow to came to the college and it was quite fun because uh, the snow is goes into my shoes and my, my feet got wet. Our students were out in the field dancing and they were absolutely so happy they thought it was magical. Yeah, they just changed the sides. The Rockies came to this side and they, the other team just went to that side. I knew about ice hockey because I was taught in school, but I was not, uh, like, I didn't get a chance back in India to see ice hockey. I used to see the uh, hockey, ice hockey game on the TV. Then I, I decided to watch them live. It's uh, very interesting to see how they, they skate on the ice and how they play. First time, I was confused at why they are, like, rushing so fast. <laughs> Why are they banging into each other? How do they skate and play hockey on the same time? Oh no! Yeah, it's true too. Just as the students have embraced Invermere, Invermere has embraced them. Our community has been given a gift of uh, a little bit more cultural diversity and sharing in some of their traditions. We've had over 130 uh, community members come to the Invermere campus to celebrate Diwali, which is one of their biggest uh, celebrations in the year. So it, it works both ways. Reflecting on their experience here so far, the trio says, without question, They've enjoyed their time in Canada. I don't want to leave for like next maybe 10 to 15 years. I just want to stick to stick to this area. I want to stay in Invermere till my graduation and after that I I definitely stay for for some time. I'm learning a lot from Canada. I think that's totally life-changing moments for me. Okay, so I hope you that everyone enjoyed that video. Um, yeah, it was a really great experience to have um, that TV company um, highlight the experiences of some of our students in Invermere. Those are our, uh, our hospitality management students. Um, yeah, and I think it, it's a really great opportunity for students um, who normally couldn't experience um, many of the things that Canada has to offer in their home countries. So um, I think that's a great thing. So on to the, the next uh, slide here. So we've got a, a student testimonial from one of our domestic students. Um, but I feel that it's really, really important uh, and very applicable for students um, who are coming from an international perspective. Um, so it says, my, pro my program allowed me to build a great relationship with my peers work with amazing teachers who are passionate about the industry and pushed me to do the best I, the best work I could. Um, so that's, that's a very important statement for, for any student from any background. Um, the instructors here at College of the Rockies are very invested in students' success and they want to help students and they want to motivate students uh, to be successful in their studies so that they're successful um, in their work career uh, after they complete their studies as well. Okay. 
Um, finally, we've got a couple of uh, images here. We've got uh, in the bottom right hand corner here, we've got our uh, the sort of outdoor eating section outside of our cafeteria here, which is uh, a very popular location for uh, both domestic and international students uh, during the spring and summer months. Uh, outside in the winter, maybe a little bit too cold to eat lunch outside, but uh, but if students are interested, they can also do that as well. Um, on the top left hand corner here, we've got the entrance way uh, on our main campus here in Cranbrook. Um, it's quite a beautiful uh, sort of design with all of that natural wood there. Um, and in the top right, we've got the view of the mountains, um, which is uh, which is pretty incredible to see every day as well. Um, for any questions or uh, inquiries about uh, programs and uh, admissions requirements here at College of the Rockies, uh, please email uh, support SEA uh, at support SE Asia at college of the Rockies DC .ca. And uh, one of these, uh, these great M squared um, people will be able to assist you with any of your questions that you have. Um, if you're interested in learning more about College of the Rockies uh, individually, though, um, you can look on our website for information about our programs and the like. Um, all right. So uh, thanks, everyone, for listening to my presentation. And um, I, now we can open it up to, uh, to questions and answers. Yeah, thank you, Lucas, for such a wonderful presentation. And now I will request uh, all the attendees, if you're having any question, please do not hesitate to drop it in Q&A section in the control panel. Okay, so Lucas, coming to our first question, uh, do our programs have co-op? Yes. Um, so our hospitality management program in Invermere has a co-op. Um, and so students get the opportunity to work at local businesses and experience um, the working culture here in Canada and get to uh, get experience about actually working here in one of the local industries. So I think that's a, a very popular program for students who are interested in that co-op um, option. Uh, we also have um, a tourism management program that doesn't have a co-op, but it uh, as part of the course, um, students can complete a number of uh, working hours at a local business uh, to fulfill the requirements for that program as well. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, coming to our next question, uh, do we have entry level scholarship for our students? That's a great question. Um, currently, we don't actually have any new international student scholarships, but um, for students who have completed at least one year of studies uh, here at College of the Rockies, they are actually um, they actually have access to an international student scholarship um, for students who have uh, received high marks in their courses, um, who also have been involved in the community, and there's a volunteer aspect of that as well. So it's uh, it's not uh, given out to everyone, but for the uh, sort of students who have done great in their courses, they, uh, they have access to that as well. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, yeah. Moving to our next question is about the program availability. So mm -hmm. uh, do all programs are available for spring 21 intake? So the spring semester is, uh, is our non-required semester. Um, for students normally, we um, require students to complete both the fall and the winter semesters here at College of the Rockies. Um, but our spring semester intake is mainly for uh, students who are wanting to go into the hospitality management program um, or for students who are hoping to complete um, some upgrading. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lucas, uh, although I know that you have already announced, but still I'm getting questions for application fee waiver. So sure. uh, can you please, uh, you know, re-announce it for all the agents who have missed it? Yeah, so for anyone that missed it, um, there's going to be an application fee waiver. Um, I believe it's for the next week um, to get, uh, yeah, student applications in as well. So. Um, I'm sure um, one of the M Square staff will be able to share that with you uh, after the uh, 
after the webinar. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lucas. Okay, uh, Lucas, uh, the another question that uh, being a public institution, or uh, our programs do have postgraduate work permit, uh, mm -hmm. but is there any program which is uh, which is not included in this category, like which is not eligible for PGWP? Right. So um, this is more of a sort of an immigration related question. So I'm not really able to, to sort of comment on that. However, students who um, who uh, look on the IRCC website for information about um, the postgraduate work permit eligibility can find uh, duration requirements as well as program requirements there as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, Lucas, is there any, uh, you know, age barrier for applying at COTR? What is the minimum age of the student must be there to apply at COTR? Yeah, so um, for all of our programs, uh, we require students to have completed uh, 12 years of at least 12 years of education in their home country. Um, and the minimum age requirement, I believe, is 17 to be eligible for programs here at Paul Thank you. Okay, Lucas. And Lucas, what are, our, uh, what are the plans of COTR for upcoming intake, whether it would be still online or we are thinking that there is a possibility of uh, going offline as well now? That's also a great question. Um, officially, College of the Rockies hasn't announced uh, the program delivery for the winter semester. Um, so I'm not sure actually whether it will be a face to face delivery or an online delivery. Um, currently, our fall semester is online delivery for international student uh, programs. So there is that possibility that the winter will also be offered online. But at this time, it hasn't been announced. Um, but if you check back on our website regularly, uh, hopefully, um, we will have the announcement up there um, within the upcoming weeks. Right. Thank, Thank you, you, Lucas. Uh, Lucas, uh, is there any kind of internships we are providing or we are helping uh, students uh, in getting placements after their, um, their diploma program? That's a great question. Um, in terms of facilitating the internships um, on completion of programs, um, at our campus uh, in Invermere, um, our staff there, um, sort of as part of their co-op, helps to place them in local businesses during their studies. Um, but we find that many students um, who have been successful in their co-ops there um, and have sort of um, become involved in, in one of the local businesses there oftentimes uh, stays on for their postgraduate work permit studies or for their postgraduate um, uh, work at one of those local businesses. So it's, it's a great opportunity to have that connection. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. And uh, Lucas, uh, we recently come across an announcement uh, that, uh, you know, uh, students would be, uh, you know, allowed to travel to Canada after 20th of October. So uh, do COTR also entitled in the list where we would be able to have students, you know, in Canada who have applied in COTR? Um, that's a, a great question. Um, currently, um, we are in the process of determining uh, what will happen with those students um, who want to come to Canada after that announcement. I'm sure everybody uh, has heard about it. Um, but right now, we, we don't have uh, a current stance on that. We're just waiting to get the current uh, information before determining what to do about students after October 20. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lucas, the next question is about the um, education gap and the backlogs. Mm -hmm. So how many backlogs is UTR would be uh, able to accept and again, the education gap? Um, in terms of the education gap, um, we have many students from many different countries um, who have completed uh, their studies, like their high school studies, uh, and then they've worked for several years after that, and then they want to um, 
come back to school and sort of improve their uh, their skills and maybe uh, use that to help them get a, a better job in the future. And um, currently, we have no requirements uh, for it, a gap. Thank you, Lucas. Lucas, are we also accepting a PTE? Um, for admissions requirements, yes, PTE can be used uh, to meet our English requirements for admission to one of our academic programs. Yeah. So uh, it's a requirement, I believe it's 56 overall with no module less than 50 in any module, right? Um, I would have to check. I'm not sure actually about the, the details of that. Um, it, but the it, PTE, yeah, the, the PTE requirements are actually um, on our website under the new international student section. So um, any test, uh, if you have questions about any of the uh, English uh, proficiency tests um, and which ones of them are eligible for our admissions requirements, you can check uh, on our website at cotr.bc.ca. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, Lucas, uh, the another question is about the conditional offer letters. Uh, sure. Are we providing conditional offer letters, and what would be the conditions on which we would be, you know, providing it? Right. Um, so, as, as of this upcoming uh, winter intake, um, we will be offering for the very first time uh, a conditional um, letter of acceptance on a math condition. Because um, we know that many of our, our students uh, coming from India don't have access to that grade 12 math, or maybe uh, they don't think about how useful that grade 12 math will be in the future. Um, so for students who have completed uh, math at the grade 10 board level, um, they can get a conditional acceptance uh, pending that they meet the other admissions requirements, uh, especially the English as well. Um, for the winter semester, uh, they can complete the necessary uh, math course in the winter semester and then be able to start their studies uh, the following fall, so the 2021 fall semester, um, on time and on pattern. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. Uh, Lucas, our next question is, do COTI provide airport pickup facilities to international students? Yes. Um, so one of the sort of the selling points of, of College of the Rockies is our personal attention to, um, to all of our students as individuals. Um, so every student uh, and every international student that uh, comes to College of the Rockies under normal circumstances, um, we will meet every single student individually at the airport to welcome you and uh, and we will facilitate you um, a cab trip to wherever you will be staying in Canberra. Thank you, Lucas. I'm getting a few more questions here and I would like to answer those questions. One is that few agents are asking, uh, would we able to accept if um, the profile, if the student is having uh, less than 50 marks in one subject? So no, we won't be able to accept uh, uh, those profiles. Right. Another thing is the education gap. Although ed education gap is not a very big uh, thing for uh, in for the institution, but if we see in terms of the visa success success rate, so we appreciate uh, that uh, there should not be no more than six years of gap should be there in the education after the graduation. And uh, if the student uh, has done 12th grade, then no more than three years gap should be there. And we appreciate uh, to accept such kind of profiles only. Okay. So, uh, Lucas, uh, we are having another question is sure. about, um, again, okay. So this question is already covered. Uh, yes, uh, although you have already covered this point, uh, but again, uh, the question come up from the agent that uh, prospective students without maths, if they want to study business program, any options uh, are available for additional math courses. Right. So this announcement we have already made that yes, uh, we are coming up with an additional math course, which student would be able to learn online right now so that they can proceed with the final uh, program later on in the upcoming intakes. Right. 
Okay, uh, are we providing any foundation course uh, in case student does not get six in each module in IELTS? Um, currently, we require students to have all of those bands. Um, but if they're unsuccessful in taking the IELTS and they would like to pursue one of the other language options um, for admissions purposes, that would be completely okay. If they wanted to try their luck at the PTE test or or any of the other tests, um, yeah, as long as they realize that that's uh, not one of the requirements for SDS. Thank you, Lucas. So, uh, Lucas, here I see that we are able to answer all the questions which we have received from the agents. Again, I would uh, say if you are having still having any question, please put up so that we can answer those questions. Okay, again, one more question about the eligibility. Is 50% acceptable for post uh, or graduate diplomas program? So a 50%, um, if I'm understanding the, the question correctly, um, the 50% applies to their post-secondary studies. So any student who is, um, is wanting to enter the PDDB program uh, has to have completed at least a four-year uh, diploma or a four-year degree in their in their home country uh, with a GPA of greater than fifty percent. Right, Lucas. Uh, Lucas, the next question is: um, uh, In current situation of pandemic, do COTR accept Alex Journal for uh, taking you know admission in COTR? Okay, let me uh, flip back to that uh, slide on my presentation here. Um, just so that, uh, that anyone who is curious about the temporary measures. Um, so the IELTS indicator, the TOEFL IBT, Special Home Edition and the Duolingo test, um, all of these scores as listed on the right side here, <clears throat> Um, can be used to meet the English language requirements here at Paul de Rock. Only for a temporary basis uh, with the, uh, during these semesters written up here. Right, thank you, Lucas. So uh, the IELTS journal is not acceptable. Uh, right now you can have <coughs> these options if you are not having IELTS academic with you right now. So you can give all these online examinations. Great. Uh, uh, right, Lucas, uh, I believe we are able to answer all the questions which we have received from our agents. So before we wind up, would you like to say something to our attendees? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Thank you all for attending this uh, online webinar. It's been a lot of fun and uh, I hope to receive students from you. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to any of the M-Square staff or you can reach out to myself. Um, and yeah, we look forward to working with you. Thanks very much. Right. Thank you, Lucas. And again, I would like to remind all the attendees uh, that we are having an application fee waiver, but for a very limited period of a week. So if you are having any prospective applications, you can definitely send it across to our admissions team. We would be very uh, happy to help you out with any other queries if you would be having apart from this. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for attending today's sessions. And Lucas, I would like to thank you as well for joining us today here. I thank hope you. that the session was very informative for all the attendees. And uh, till the next one, please take care, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you so much.